One of the factors that made the F-84 such an important aircraft in the post-war years was the amount of experimentation, testing and evaluation that went on with the type and with variations developed from it. The FICON story is one of these important footnotes in aviation history written around the F-84. The name FICON is derived from the term fighter conveyor and the project was a response to the need for aerial surveillance. Large reconnaissance aircraft had become too vulnerable for operations over hostile territory, yet much of the territory which had to be overflown was well outside the range of a fighter, let alone the endurance of its pilot. The scheme was simple in conception, but was far more complex to carry out. In effect, a B-36 bomber acting as a mother ship would carry the photo reconnaissance fighter for all but the dangerous part of the mission, launching and retrieving it in flight. A series of attachments, both for the bomber and the fighter, were developed before a reliable system was reached. It was difficult and highly dangerous. Project testing began with a modified F-84E in 1952. During these tests, changes were made to the gear in a series of steps as problems arose, first with the stability of the cradle on the mother ship, and then with the trustworthiness of the fighter's hydraulic grapple. The intended effect was achieved with all the apparatus trialed. Increasing effectiveness followed as refinements were made. The fighter was near to stalling at the low end of its speed range as it wallowed beneath the large plane, buffeted by the slipstream. The process called for a high degree of ability on the part of both pilots. The aircraft intended for operational deployment in the job was the RF-84F, modified and redesignated the RF-84K. Tests with this version commenced in 1953, and on the 30th of March, the prototype made its first successful docking. By this time, the mechanisms had been resolved. Modifications to the F-84 included drastic remodeling of the horizontal tail to allow the plane to be retracted into the B-36 bomb bay, in addition to the three hydraulic latches. Testing of FICON continued until 1955 and production aircraft were then deployed. The 91st Strategic Reconnaissance Squadron, based at Larsen Air Force Base, received 25 of the specialized RF-84Ks and were teamed with a squadron of modified B-36s. Experiments and in-squadron training continued until 1956, when they were abandoned. By coincidence, this was about the same time the U-2 became available for use.